Hello! In this video, you'll learn how to create reaction roles with buttons and selection menus. This video is part two of my previous video about embeds, so be sure to watch that first by clicking on this card. To get started, you'll need the Disco Hook Utilities bot in your server. I've put a link in the description. First, go to your server and open Server Settings. Go to Roles. Select Create Role and enter the name for your new role. You can also choose a color. Adjust the role permissions as you wish. I won't be going into detail on that in this video. Repeat this process until all your roles are created. Then click Save Changes and close the settings. Now, go to a channel and type slash webhook create. Add a name for your webhook and select an avatar. These will appear here in the final message. Choose the webhook channel and send the command. It's crucial to create the webhook using the bot as you can't add buttons or selection menus to manually created webhooks. Next, go to discohook.app. Make sure you're logged into your account. Click Clear All, then click Add Webhook. Now, select your server and click Use next to your webhook's name. A check mark indicates that the webhook is owned by Discohook. I'm going to use an embed template from my previous video. First, I'll remove the message content and author. Then, I'll change the title to Reaction Roles. Change the description to something of this manner. You can change the sidebar color to one that fits your style. To add an image, just copy the image link and paste it over here. To style the embed, go to coolsymbol.com and find a symbol you like. This will copy it to your clipboard. Paste it into the webhook to customize your embed's title and description. I won't be adding a footer to this embed. This video is split into two parts, buttons and selection menus. If you want to skip ahead to selection menus, use the timestamp in the description. To add buttons, scroll down and click Add then select Add Components. A new row will appear. Click Add Component again and select Button. After it loads, click on the new button. You can select an emoji to display next to the button's name. The label is the name of the button. Make sure the button is not disabled. Select the style of the button by clicking on a color. Now, click Edit Flow and select Toggle Roll. Choose the corresponding roll. Close the menu and click Save. And repeat this process for all your roles. You can only add five buttons per row, so you'll need to create a new row for a sixth button. Once you're done, click the Send button, make sure your webhook is selected, and click Send again. Back on Discord, you'll see the embed has been sent. 
You can now add or remove roles by clicking the buttons. You can add as many roles as you want. To add a selection menu, scroll down and click Add. Then select Add Components. This time, choose Select Menu. After it loads, click on it and add a placeholder text which will appear in the menu. For each option, first select an emoji, then add a label. Adding a description is not compulsory, so I will not be adding one. Don't change the value. Then click Edit Flow, then add Action and choose Toggle Role. Select the role. Repeat this till you've added every option. Once you've added all your options, click Save and Close. This is what the menu will look like. Now click Send and make sure the embed is selected. Click Send again. After it sends, you'll see the embed in your channel, and you can add roles by selecting them from the menu. Removing can be done by selecting the role again. If you think your server members might find this confusing, you can pin a message with these instructions. Well, that's it for today's video. If you want to know which bots are essential for your Discord server, click on the video on the screen now. I'll see you in the next one.